As healthcare workers battle to save victims of coronavirus, there are reports the national stockpile of masks, gloves, and other supplies is nearly depleted. President Trump insists those products are being sent directly to the front lines. Many more Hanes is making protective gear and masks, and we're making uh, tremendous amounts of product. There's never been anything like it. The president now considering a shutdown of some flights and not ruling out a full domestic air shutdown. But closing up every single flight on every single airline, that's a very, very, very rough decision. But still not ready to issue a national stay-at-home order, leaving that to governors, as two more in Pennsylvania and Florida finally bowed to criticism and told residents to stay inside. Even though there's a lot of places in Florida that have very low infection rates, um, it makes sense to, to make this move now. The U.S. death toll escalating toward 5,000. The number of confirmed cases now topping 200,000, including 1,400 NYPD officers, 100 infected sailors on the USS Roosevelt, and untold numbers of seniors in nursing homes. Especially a few days from now that are going to be horrific. As the president praised health care workers as heroes from the White House. Almost like, and I think I take the word almost out, they're like warriors. Doctors and nurses received a different kind of salute in South Carolina. My hat's off to them. I have a sister who is a nurse. I could not do it. Drivers staging a twinkle parade, flashing their lights as a tribute to their courage and sacrifice. Susan McGinnis, NBC News, Washington.